Hey everybody, how you doing? First time making a video, so hopefully I won't be judged too badly about this. Got a 2003 Chevy 2500 HD Duramax. Put a brand new ignition lock cylinder in this truck probably about a year ago. Everything's been working fine, never had a problem with it. However, today it decides it's not going to work. Go figure. Keys locked, won't move, won't turn, won't do a damn thing. So went on old YouTube, checked everything out, looked at everybody else's videos, tried all sorts of tips and tricks. None of them worked for me. I tried the rubber mallet on the key. Nope. <clears throat> tried um, big giant pair of pliers. Nope, that didn't work. So amongst the tools, I'll show you what I use and I'll show you how I did it. So as you can see, it's a collection of things that I used earlier. Everything that I thought would possibly work, none of it actually did. So I'll show you exactly what I did and you see if this works for you. Everybody knows if you're getting into this part, you gotta take the top of the cover off and the bottom of the cover. <clears throat> I've already disconnected the electric wire and you know that the key's gotta be in the on or run position to push in the little detent pin down inside here. I couldn't get it to budge, couldn't do anything. So amongst all these fancy tools and everything, three basic ones work for me. Little tiny Allen wrench, little ball peen, and a little wood chisel. So what I wound up doing is I took the key, pushed it in there into the ignition lock, pushed it all the way in. Took my wood chisel, Standard wood chisel. I've used a lot. I've beaten the hell out of it. I regrind it. Still works great. Put it in there. Push. Put pressure inward on the column. Use that ball peen hammer and that chisel, and wound up cutting that aluminum. Broke the edge of it off. It will break, and it allows you access to, as you can see. Hang on a second. Let me get in here at the right angle. To the little bar right here. That's the sidebar. So once I broke all of this off, I was able to get that sidebar exposed. I put the Allen wrench in there. Oh, sorry about the camera work, not perfect. Put that in there, applied pressure on it, turned the key, got it to go into the on and the run position. From that point, went ahead, went up to the top, dropped that same little fancy Allen key in there, pushed that pin in there, then I was able to take the entire cylinder out <clears throat> as you can see something as simple as that once you cut it all the hell and you can get in this is your sidebar right here that rectangle looking piece of metal once I was able to press that in this was able to come out <clears throat> unfortunately it took about 15 minutes of actual uh, video time it took me all of about 10 seconds to get the damn thing out it seemed like so Still love Chevy, still love GM, just hate the damn lock cylinder. Hope this helped everybody out. All right, take care.